Hello everyone and welcome back once again to another edition of Polynerdic Playtest. As you can see, if you haven't figured it out just by taking a glance at it, we're taking a look at Assassin's Creed Origins. This is the first Assassin's Creed game I have played since thinking about it. Last one I played through to completion was was uh, Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood. I tried Assassin's Creed 3 and didn't like the way it it felt at all. The opening was way too glitchy and it took forever to, to get rolling. Um, didn't like it and haven't gone back to the series since. I've got a few of them downloaded that were given away as freebies. There's some blood in the water there. Um, but this is the first one. I stumbled across it at Redbox. You know, I would have never played it otherwise. I, I had no intentions on ever buying it. But having put about 10 or 12 hours into it, having rented it this weekend, uh, I actually like it a lot. I think it is a really good game for the most part. It has its problems. There's some, you know, typical Assassin's Creed bugginess, and there's uh, the combat isn't great. Uh, it could definitely be better. We're in ancient Egypt. Uh, as the title uh, says, it's an origin story for the whole order. It definitely has that feel to it. Um, I just recently unlocked the, the wrist blade. I've been playing the whole game without it. Uh, I was getting kind of frustrated with the lack of that because most of the time when you do a takedown they were they were non-lethal because you didn't have the have the uh, wrist blade i'm aiming for that guy in the middle's boat i'm going to take it because we're going to go somewhere i'm just a little concerned about the hippo oh even better i'll take this guy's boat just like that and now i'm borrowing your boat all right, he's gonna ride with me. We're gonna go to this island to the south. We're gonna start off with this island down here, because there's a thing in the menus, in the inventory. You find these papyrus scrolls, and when you un, you know, when you find the location hinted at in in the scroll, you get an item. Uh, my, I do believe my my sword here. It's either my sword or my bow. One of the two of these rare things is uh was a reward found from one of these scrolls so we're going to start off with that as you can see i'll talk about it more later if i remember but loot is a part of this game uh unfortunately and i haven't done any of my abilities yet because i wanted to get to this video before i did it um there's some things in here i think are ridiculous like some of these abilities should be abilities from the start like parry parry's in here parry should be a thing you can do from day one like the moment you start the game you should be able to parry i got sleep darts okay we'll get into that in a second but the uh i don't want to get sidetracked the puzzle i'm doing is this one stone gaze it says a, uh, the south section of this lake there's an island full of ruins a man stares at me all day it's quite a bother so i'm hiding behind a column that blocks the site so you go to the map here's the island so and you know obviously we're in that lake that was listed so somewhere on this is is where we need to go and there's also a tower to climb because what would an assassin's creed game be without a tower of some sort uh, that was one of the things i was concerned about with this game was that you know the structures aren't as massive so i was wondering how we were going to get about the uh the standard assassin's creed climb up on stuff nonsense so there's a sunken treasure ship there or sunken ship there with some treasure we can swim down to but we're going to do this island real quick also uh while I'm looking at it. This is one of the interesting things this game does. When you do the photo mode, it pulls up on people's maps the photo. Like I like that one. That's that's a good photo. I like that one a lot. Although the the highlighted crocodile is kinda of bothersome. Here's one I did. I like this one. I've got another one I did up here. Cracks me up. Uh, as I said at the in the early rundown this is an Ubisoft open world Assassin's Creed game. It's glitchy. There's some jank. Like this. This was hilarious when I come across this today because the, uh, the dude down there at the bottom was freaking out. The cart was jittering, bounce, kind of bouncing up and down a little bit in the dirt. The cattle didn't seem bothered by it at all. And then the frame rate went to shit. So onward what we're doing. We're heading to this island ruins. Maybe there'll be some combat when we get there. We'll see. Uh, this game is, like I said, it's an open world game. Um, it's got a lot of the, what you would call, open world busy work in it. 
but it's pretty fun. Like if you if you want to call it running around, uh, I know that the Giant Bomb East crew they like to make jokes and ask the question, "How's the running around?" Uh, the running around in this game is fantastic. In fact, I've spent most of my time doing that. I've barely advanced the story. Um, you're playing as Bayek. He's a a, a medje, I think is how they pronounce it. He's essentially like a problem solver, kind of like a sheriff, bounty hunter, all the above rolled into one uh, for the community. I don't know how historically accurate that is, but it's a it's a nice thing for the game. So here we are at this island. We'll go ahead and hop off. All right. So somewhere here is the answer to our little riddle. Oh, this we got another quest here. The scene of death. I should investigate. All right, we got another thing here. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect this to bring me to one of my side quests. Uh, game's full of side quest, full of quest. I've got eleven active quests right now. Is that the one we're doing? I think this I think this might be the one right here. Yeah, it appears to be the one. Okay, so let's hit this tower real quick. Uh, the game is real finicky on fall damage. Sometimes you take fall damage, sometimes you don't. I haven't quite pinpointed the appropriate height to fall from. Um, I'm playing this on the standard PlayStation 4. See the standard right here, Assassin's Creed, synchronization moments. You are in the Animus. Uh, you can pull out at will to go play as the the lady who's in the Animus, Layla. Um, I haven't done a lot of that. I don't find the present day stuff to be all that um, exciting. Or interesting for that matter. I'm really digging running around ancient Egypt though. This game's absolutely beautiful. I really love the photo mode. Let you snake take a bunch of snapshots. If you follow me on Twitter, at Plyneric on Twitter, you've seen a ton of screenshots this weekend. Because anytime I find anything even remotely interesting, I, I take a shot of it uh, and share it to Twitter. Uh, that'll come helpful when I go to write the review or whatever about this. Uh, but you enter different areas in the game. Sometimes they're an, uh, elimination areas or whatever they call them, where you have to, where you're expected to um, eliminate all the enemies in the area. As you can see now, we're in an investigation area because we've got this murder scene to deal with. Was this a terrible ceremony? There is so much blood, as if some butchery occurred here. But the elements have eroded many of these signs. Uh, for those who might be interested in what he looks like, let's go to my gear. It's over here. Yeah, toggle the hood off. All right. He just recently got a haircut and a shave in the story. So there's our main character, Bayek. Uh, the in the present day, Layla is in his tomb. So I I would assume, given the normal. Uh, way Assassin's Creed works. She's a descendant of his, but I could be wrong. Scraps of a message. Ah, there's too much missing. Sounds like a cult. Got some cult stuff going on. We've interacted with that. Ah, more stuff down here. All right, let's see. Sekhmet, the goddess of hunters. But there are scratches here. Above the statue's stomach. And a foot. What does it represent? You're not concerned about the foot that you're kicking around? Uh, one thing that does annoy me is he stands like that a lot in the cutscenes. And the person he's talking to will be right in front of him. So he almost is never making eye contact. It kind of irritates me. Alright. Scraps of blood and flesh. There was a body here. The crocodiles must have devoured it. There's blood all over the fucking water, man. In here, let's see. The lid of a sarcophagus. Something in the water. There was a symbol here. But it is too damaged for me to make out. Alright, let's get in the water. Troubling. 
This reminds me of a sign of circuit I have already seen. Many of the clues are eroded, but this death was violent, purposeful, and obscene. Right, can I get in the water or no? Some down here. Some down here. What we got here? A shield, some cedar wood, and some money. All sorts of stuff to pick up. Uh, this being a modern open world Ubisoft game, I do have to point out one of my big gripes is the marketplace nonsense. This stuff over here, season pass, join the club, um, store. $40 season pass, uh, you get Helix credits, that's the, the paid currency. 500 of them. Get you enough to buy some of this nonsense. Let's get all the negative out here real quick first. Like, these are just purely cosmetic stuff. Although, I do kind of like the look of that one, to be honest. And the mummy has its place too. But this, this is the sort of shit that you can pay real money for. Weapons. Which I will give you that. Some of this stuff looks pretty cool. Um... But this is the kind of stuff that's ruining video games. Being able to buy this shit. Like, oh look, I can play as the old school stuff. That's that's nice. I guess you get that by being a member of the club. So. See, they even got one labeled time savers. Hey, do this to, uh, you know, save yourself some time. Pay real money for actual in-game currency. Or pay money for ability points, or... All the fucking maps reveal, reveal the stuff. So that way you don't have to actually play the game and find it. Uh, like Jim Sterling said, when you put stuff like this in a game, what you tell us is that your game is not worth playing. Our time isn't worth it. It's fucking ridiculous. What do I have owned? Apparently I own stuff. See, look at this. It's ridiculous. Oh, I, I own a whole 200 Helix credits. I guess you get that just for playing... This is so infuriating. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it right now. All right, back to the good stuff in the game. Big ass open world. Uh, I'm not entirely certain. Like I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and assume you get to go to all these places. Cause yeah, here here's where you started the game. So there's a lot to this game. I'm gonna be playing it for fucking ever apparently. Cause I'm only here and over there. <laughs> Over here at home, this is where the game opens, and this is a beautiful place too. But uh, we're over here near Alexandria now. I don't know what the nine, nine out of twelve stuff means, or six and eight. That's interesting. Okay, so that answers my question about how how we get back home. Let's get back to mission at hand here. I know I'm kind of all over the place. This isn't very structured. As I was saying, the running around in this game is fucking amazing. The combat isn't great. Um, I know parries on the skill tree. It would be a nice skill to have. Because I feel like most of the time it's just try not to get hit, try not to get hit, hit hit people while you can, try not to get hit. So, let's see. A man stares at me. But I, oh, here we go. Here we go. There's the man, right? I'm betting what I'm looking for is on the other side of this pillar. I must have run just past it. Yep, right there. Right there it is. Look at that. Fire solved. Got myself a new bow. So let's take a look at that. Gear. There's multiple different kinds of bows. Um, oh shit, it's on fire. I'm gonna equip that. These are the hunter bows. Then you've got the light bows. These ones are kind of like they jokingly were at one point, and I, I'm, I'm saying jokingly, they refer to these as like ancient submachine guns because you, you can fire off multiple arrows real fast with these. Uh, warrior bows, again, slightly different. And then the predator bows, these are the ones that, let me show you, when you go to aim, it goes into this view. And they're meant for like long range shots and, you know, hunting things like, like I could hit those birds. Maybe not from here, but I could hit them. I think it was a gator in the water too. 
But uh, I'm gonna put that new bow on. All right, there we go. Yeah, the predator bows are good for like long range shots. Um, you get a headshot on a guard with that, you generally kill them. So let's draw this new bow out. Oh, okay, I'm gonna pull flaming arrows out of my quiver. Nice. <laughs> and then also, as you just saw down in the lower corner of the screen there, where it says loot treasure zero of two, each location has objectives to them like that. Uh, you know, sometimes it's kill a captain, kill a commander, and then loot X number of treasures. Uh, that's a big gator. Or crocodile, rather. So around the locations, you'll find treasure chests. Some of the ones that you saw me grab out in the water. Get off the rocks. Uh, I get hung up in the geometry a little bit. That's one of the one gripe I do have. Uh, there have been a number of times where I've been caught in the geometry. When I was playing as Layla in the present day, there was a time where I. Uh, Got stuck on a, a slightly elevated platform. She can't jump, roll, or do anything. So I, I literally had to stop the game, exit to the main menu, and then reload in order to, to get her unstuck. Uh, frankly, I haven't gone back to play as her since then. What is this? Hmm. There's... Some sort of tomb under here, no surprise, really. Let's see if we can find the way in. Oh, dead guy in the water. Crocodile. Mauled dude or lady. Missing leg. Bunch of crocodiles. Oh, yeah, you want to fight? As like I said, the combat is not the most satisfying. It's a lot of this. You got bleed damage on him. Oh, you want some too? You're a big ugly suck, sucker. Almost said fuck. Uh, and then you got when your adrenaline's full, you do this stuff. And you just wail, wail on stuff. Get resources for killing them. Okay, so where's the opening? Oh, here's a treasure chest. Different kinds of weapons. Oh, yep. Oh, you want some too? I am, as I started to say earlier, I'm streaming this on the PlayStation 4 for a reason, and that reason is. I won't come up unless I'm in combat. During combat, look where my health and stuff is here. Let's... Oh, cool, two of them. See how the health's right in the bottom middle of the screen? Well, I learned... Uh, a lesson in, in attempting to stream Wolfenstein 2. And that is, when a game puts their pertinent HUD information in the lower center of the screen, Stream it on PlayStation. Don't bother with Xbox. Because Xbox puts that stupid little stream bar down there in the bottom of the screen and you can't see the important information like how much health you have. So when I took a look at this game, and it was available at Redbox on both of them. I previously... I don't, I've read, ah, it was available at Redbox for both consoles. But I remembered seeing where the health stuff was. So I decided if I rented it, it was going to be PlayStation. Because when I went to Redbox, I went thinking of this game and a couple others. Uh, this was the one that was available. 
Let's see here. Alright, so we killed a bunch of fucking crocodiles. Where is the entry into the tomb? It'll be underwater, is it? I doubt it'd be underwater since they set up camp here. We'll go around the exterior of the island here. You can climb on most things. There are very few things that it won't let you climb on. That water's gross looking. Very gross looking. Okay, how the hell do you get into the tomb? You've been all the way around the island. I see no cave. Or any cave. Did not see any cave. Don't talk. Don't speak incorrectly. But look at this, man. This game is gorgeous. Up. Oh. Crocodile. Ah, oh, another one. I guess while we're at it, I might as well. You're kind of small compared to the other guys I was facing. Ah, oh, stop hitting me with the tail swipe. I'm curious how, how hard a, a gator or a crocodile could hit you with its tail. Like, how much would that hurt? I mean, obviously the big the big thing is, <laughs> is its mouth, but I mean, look at that. That that is a good looking game right there. I imagine it looks amazing on uh, like a PlayStation Four Pro or Xbox One X. Uh, since those come out on Tuesday, I'm gonna go ahead and open my window up here. I apologize if you hear any. Barking dogs or anything like that. Hmm. Alright. So I showed you how the environmental puzzles work. You know, stared at a man, hide behind a pillar, all that mess. Um, you find those on the map, just like all these things. Like, like I've said, this is a open world ass open world game where it's, oh, look at all the stuff to do. All these little, you know, busy, busy work things. Like, this guy's a missing worker. So let's let's fast travel. I apologize for the load time. Hopefully it won't be too painful. Uh, th I think this is one of the better looking anima screens. I like this much better than the old empty white room. I really like the shape of that sword. There we go. I wasn't at too painful of a load time. Alright. The Soldiers. They're all kind of dicks. Oh, okay. You got a quest for me? Little dude? Hey, you hear of that villager that went missing? Only us because, like you, he is one of my favorite customers. Maybe you go looking for him. Maybe if you find him, I'll have something nice for you. Yes, that's yeah. what this guy does. He uh, he sells. Take that quest. He sells crafting materials, which are very expensive, and hecka chests. One random weapon or shield opens automatically on purchase. Yeah, and then he also has like you just saw quests. So. Looks like we're going a bit. This is one of the more ingenious things that this game has in it. You hold X to follow road, and then you hold hit triangle to go to the objective. So 
I say it's ingenious, but the, the camel can be dumb sometimes. There you go. Now you're going to see it work properly. This is great, because it's it gives you time to kind of scope out the scenery. Uh, you come across things. Uh, because this is an open world game, much in the vein of like Skyrim or those games, this game is really bad for me in the sense that like I'll be exploring, and then up there on the compass at the top, a, a question mark will appear. And I'm immediately drawn to it. Like, oh, I gotta see what that is. Which is why I've played, you know, 12 hours of this game and haven't barely advanced the story. I've just been running around doing side quests, exploring, you know, getting into fights, hunting, things of that nature. Bayek has a crazy woman in his life who is also uh, a, a skilled warrior and, a, and killer. Um, I've encountered her once. It was an interesting scene. She's the one that gave me my haircut because prior to this, he had, you know, really long, kind of shaggy hair and a beard. And there was, you know, a nice little scene between them where they they talked about things, and she shaved him with a knife, the same knife she murdered a guy with. So far, the story seems to be very much a vengeance quest. Oh, yeah, this is a nice thing that... I, I laughed when I saw this in, in early stuff, but you have a drone. And, yep, see, right there's our target. Looks like we got some hyenas out here. Oh, no, those wouldn't be hyenas. Those are, those are elk or something, I think. No, hyenas, I called it. But yeah, you've, you've got this uh, living drone here in your bird that you can take control of and scope out the environment. I thought that was ridiculous when I saw it originally, but it works. It's a, it's a nice gameplay uh, mechanic. And frankly, um, I think what I like about this game is, is that it does not feel like an Assassin's Creed game. It's a completely different style of game, at least from the ones I remember. Missing Worker's Dead. To his arms. I spoke of is dead. It's a hell of a way to die. All right. Put you on my camel. No, that's not what I wanted. Damn. All right, get back up there. <laughs> Damn. Either uh, Bayek's really strong, or this dead person's super light. Now somehow. The, the no bad merchant guy is gonna got ahead of us instead of being back where we came from he's up here Whoa. Yeah. oh there's a statue up here that's the thing that the break I already broke that one okay good uh, you're not a fan of the king the uh... <laughs> King of Egypt is not your not your buddy. Like I said, the story is very much a vengeance story. If you don't like games with a lot of quote unquote running around looking for stuff. If you like more linear, straightforward, level-to-level -level things, uh, this is not a game for you. Uh, this is even more open and meandering than the original Assassin's Creed games were. Come to Alexandria. Okay. Alright. Poor dead guy's head smacked off that post. No! Okay. Too many of controls on similar buttons. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. There we go. You come here. Brought you a dead guy, sir. May he find peace in the Dumont, Major. Since you found him, you can have the weapon I got for him special. He would have That's nice. Alright, let's do a, a loot comparison here, a gear comparison, because that's how this always works in these games. 
Range resistance, poison on block. Versus what I've got just now. Range resistance, adrenaline on parry. See, I don't even have parry yet. Hmm. Switch to you. And then let's, let's work on... That's something, too, we can show here. Got a lot of shields in my inventory, I didn't even realize. Good lord. Okay, so keep those two. Then we'll go to back to the gear screen. We got some crafting to do here. So we've got enough material here for the hidden blade damage. So let's increase that. Cool. Hell, we're gonna have to do it again. Hidden blade, bearing the rare. Oh, we can do it again. There we go. Let's let's leave it at that for now. Increase our arrow capacity. Don't have it. Oh, we're one short of doing it again. Don't have enough for that. A little shy there. We got enough for the breastplate though. Increase our health. Ah, oh, we're shy there. All right, so that's part of this game. You can also upgrade your swords. So you get different kinds of weapons. You got your heavy blunts, your dual swords, your um, sickle swords, which I like a lot. I really like that blade. Um, scepters. I've never used a scepter or a spear. And then unarmed. All right, but you can also do this. You can go with this blade here and go click on it. Well, no, it's, that's right. Excuse me. You can upgrade it at merchants. You can make make the swords better. Like this sword was like a level nine sword when I first got it. Now it's level thirteen. So then you get your outfits. You know stuff that can be bought. Stuff you start with. Uh, I got this one at a. Uh, I did a side quest, and I I liked it a lot. Even like I really like the cat helmet, even though I haven't been wearing it for this uh, play test. Yeah. See, you can. Do all sorts of stuff. Then you got your abilities. I haven't spent time going through this, but let's look here. Let's acquire that. Okay, that's that one's gonna come in handy shortly, I bet. That'll be good for photos. That'll be a good one to have too. Bonus XP for assassinating. Headshot XP, bow bearer. Stun enemies with my bird, that's funny. Alright. See, this is funny to me. Parry should be a skill you have from the get go in this kind of action game. It shouldn't be two two things deep. Alright, do that. Got a lot of skill points to Unfurl here, sleep darts. Ooh, okay, we'll do that one too. That's good. That'll also be good. Man, we're getting all kinds of good stuff here since I waited to do this on on the play test instead of. That was cool. All right, we'll do that too. Let's 
Do I have an overpower attack now? Charge heavy attack, okay. Air attack. That's cool. All right. I'll do bow bearer too. Ah, oh, I can steer the arrow. That's silly. All right. What's this one? That's a cool skill. All right. We're yeah. We're gonna we're gonna work towards that one right now. Ah, oh, that was two. I didn't realize that was two. Mm. All right, and that was three. So we're gonna start working our way that way because I like the chain assassinations. I think we got a healthy mix here. Did this one. See, we got three more of these scrolls to find. Animal goods, trinkets. Iron hammer. Tools. We're all stocked up. All right, back into the game. Excuse me. Okay, so that's the charged heavy attack. Cool. New abilities. So how long can I go for? Midday. Midday into night again. Oh, okay, so. But I can stop at any time? Is that how it works? No. Okay. Alright, so that's how it works. It only advances to a certain point. So it won't be as useful as I thought it would be for the photos. Damn. Alright. So let's do a quest. Y'all sat with me through some meandering bullshit, so let's let's do a quest here. Let's see, you got one of the scrolls there. I love the photos, man. The photos are awesome. We've not been there yet. Let's climb that. Bring in my my camel. Oh, that's that's true too. Let's do that. I'm sorry. I need to set up secondary weapons here. Let's do. What do I want? Heavy blades. Spears. Ah, uh, let's do a heavy blade. 30. Yeah, we'll do a heavy blade. Let's put the battle axe up. Alright, and then... Death Storm. A stealthy one. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now we got our secondary weapons. Cool. I don't want to do that. Let's break off. This is a beautiful game, though. The, like this, this era is interesting. I, I love the ancient Egyptian era. Almost, you know, because it's kind of right in there with the. Uh, what the hell happened here? Oh, I thought it was blood on the ground. Um, 
It's right up there with the, the Roman era, you know, Caesar and all them. It's, it's just a great time to study in history. So I'm, I'm cool with the fact that they put the game in this era. And it works way better than I expected it to. Mm, what are we going over there? Point of interest just popped up. Come on, mate. Just go ride my camel up here. Bunch of nobles and stuff, just chilling. <laughs> Climb on up here. What's well, an Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed game without climbing and synchroniz synchronizing, huh? Synchroniz synchronizing, as I started to say. Like I know we're well past the uh, being in awe of the if you can see it, you can go there style of gameplay, but it still gets me every time. That is fucking beautiful. Stand on some dude's head. Alright, where's my... There's my leap of faith. R ridiculous fall into a stack of fronds. All right, so there's where the exclamation point was. No, I promised a mission, but we're getting... See, this is exactly what I was talking about, where this game gets me in trouble, because I set out to do a thing, and then something catches my eye. And off I go. But as I started to say, a long time ago now, um... I am shocked by how much I enjoy this game. Like, I I have not liked an Assassin's Creed game since, like I said, Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood. And <laughs> this game really does it for me here. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. See, I've already been here and done some damage. Oh, okay, assist the rebels. I did this one already. Let's find another quest to do. Oh, let's see. Weasel. We'll do this one. Let's do this one. Where's that on the map? We are over here. Shall we fast travel? I think we should. Sh we should fast travel. Let's do that real quick. Because the only, the other option is just to spend all that time trekking out there. And, Normally, I would probably would do that and then get sidetracked a million times. Oh yeah, I should probably be at least moving around, make it a little more interesting here. Yeah, the blacksmiths—they uh, obviously sell weapons, or clothing, and st stables. You don't buy horses as much as you buy a skin for the horse you're on. What crafting is available? Sorry. Oh, what is this? Tool pouch? Hmm. I think I will. Nope. But I really like that the game goes out of its way to, uh, you know, make everything useful. Useful, like you're not just killing things for the sake of killing things when you're out hunting. You're getting resources. Like, nothing, nothing at all, really. Okay, fine. Nothing from you either? Nothing? You suck. Guys, you suck. You're supposed to give me stuff when I kill you. The I've the ruckus. What has upset them? Can I go in? No. Alright, so another investigation. Uh. 
Man, I can't believe I got nothing from killing those goats. As I was just talking about how the game doesn't leave you hanging. Oh, shit. The railing broke, but someone went over it. Blood. Still fresh. Such a mess. The knife on the ground. Where's the body? A cat. You pet the cat? Lot of blood. <laughs> Where's the body? Oh shit, he pets him. Bayek, pet the kitty. There you go. You're Egyptian. You're supposed to worship those things. Hmm, I don't see anything. Nothing obvious, anyway. Bunch of fucking gators down there, though. I'm sorry, crocodiles. I keep calling them gators. The American in me. Are they in the straw? Oh shit, you can kill the cats. Oh shit. Oops. <laughs> I didn't realize that was going to happen. That's funny. Didn't mean to kill the cat. Oh, here we go. Body in there, huh? I will oh, take cut. you back to Pelias for the proper rights. Poor Ruya. If you had only known how to make such a leap. What did you get yourself into? Beasts yeah, what happened? With the faces of men prey on the weak and powerless. We cannot simply show our bellies to the jackals that plague our land. See, like stuff like that, the graphics aren't perfect. Arm sticking through the dress. By the gods. Ruya. What happened? She was thrown to her death from the pigeon tower. Yep. Your letter. Somebody murdered her. Why was she killed? That is the badge worn by Dimnos, our master of arms. Why did she have it? I will find out soon enough. Oh, there we go. Mission's not over. Girl. Gonna go kill the master of arms, huh? Dimnos, I'm looking for Ruya. Why would I know where that peasant is? Oh, well, dude's an asshole. Perhaps because she has your badge. Shit. Well. She was just an Egyptian dog. No matter. Why did you do it? Truth? I didn't mean to kill her. Only teach her a lesson for her insolence. Oh, she shit. refused to read a letter for me. You must confess to Pelias. I suppose you want the same fate as Ruya. You stupid Egyptian. The hell of a mace. The same lesson she learned. Come. Try. <laughs> Death for you. 
Oh, miss again. Ah, oh, the bleeding damage got him. The letter he mentioned. <laughs> In a country where women urinate standing up while the men sit down. Hmm. Don't think too highly of the Egyptians. Yes, he killed Ruia out of base cruelty, and he died because he thought I was also less than a person. What a senseless tragedy. She was a smart girl with a good heart. There we go. The letter you recovered, it is information for Apollodorus. I will make sure he gets it. We must all do what we can to help Cleopatra's cause. She alone cares for all the people of Egypt. All right, there we go. There you have your story bits. <clears throat> or quest bits, rather. All right, so let's take a look at their quests that are available again. Yeah, see, that that's a tough one there, because hippos are rough. Alright, let's go visit this guy. We'll do this mission and then one story mission. And then we'll call it a day. I just realized that statue was fully naked. I guess that's historically accurate. My super mature teenage daughter thought it was hilarious when I was in the library early in the game and, uh, earlier on in the game and, uh, Walk past a woman wearing only a dress, no no top. So my my teenage daughters thought that was fucking the funniest thing they'd seen all day. Half naked woman in the library. So that's right. We're gonna do this mission, and then we're gonna do. One story, one of the main quests, and then we're gonna call the playtest a, a day. It's gonna be one of the longer playtests I've ever done, but I think this game deserves it. This game is actually really good. Uh, I'm shocked at how good it is. Um, were I to have time to finish it between now and the end of the year, you know, to own it and finish it, it might enter the top ten as far as uh, the end of the year best games discussion goes see that's exactly what I was talking about look I'm on my way to the quest and there are three question marks four if you count this one over here on the right five even that are just kind of pulling me in they want me to, they want me to come look at them oh and then an exclamation a side quest exclamation point here too see this and then the nomads bazaar mm. the question mark right in front of me I'm gonna have to see what that is. There you go, Requisition Tavern. <gasps> Tempted to just run over there. There we are. Ah. <laughs> Historical sexism. How long has it been? A decade? <laughs> More? <laughs> you left Siwa a long time ago, huh? And you left your name behind too. I had to. Claridas is a name better suited for the hippodrome. <laughs> Horse racing and stuff, I think, from the photos I've seen. Remember the horses we rode outside Siwa? Huh? Oh, those nags. <laughs> I thought you would never leave that shithole. Hmm. Siwa. Small, poor, and ugly. <laughs> the only beauty there was Aya. Has it changed much? Has she? Hmm. That's his crazy murder Things lady. Change. People change. 
Ah, I need another drink. <laughs> Was that literally all that mission had to offer? Just a little cutscene? No. Wow, we got more. Pardon, Neb. I overheard Clarida say you once rode together. My father sponsors the Prezina Greens. And we are in need of a mighty race. I knew it. New horse racing was going to be a thing. I'm only here to drink and forget. Leave him alone, Nikias. <laughs> Real men are drinking here tonight. <laughs> Bayek, come. Let me show you something inspiring. Huh? I give this game all the credit in the world for allowing whatever costume you're wearing to be what's in the cutscenes. Middle Earth Shadow of War did not do that, and it drove me nuts. Could not stand it. Wait, what's over here? We're gonna drunkenly loot the treasure here. Can I? No? Oh, you fucking game. I'm up here. I don't wanna have to come back. Alright, let's stagger drunkenly down the stairs. Where are we going? Where are you taking me, Senefa? Please, Claridas. I have not been Senefa in years. Ah, why did you change your name? To succeed in the Hippodrome, one must be welcomed by the Greek houses. So, a Greek name. Oh. You see a lot of that in this game. The soldiers just plowing people over. Your home? You know, peasants and whatnot. The Greeks may look down on us, but screw them. I eat and drink well on what I win. I have no ambition to race at the Hippodrome. You? <laughs> no, never. They cheer for me. Besides, you would need a sponsor, a real chariot. Where are we going, dude? We got places to be. Now, Icarus, he was a true hero. Did you know he won a thousand races and survived twice as many? See how they loved Icarus? So if he only won a thousand and was in two thousand... You have two thousand. gods too! Aye! They had a 50% win percentage at that point. never did anything for me. You're lucky I left. If I had stayed, Aya would have been mine. You are drunk, but an ass. You have no idea what I give up. Oh, the world is hard. You always look down on me in Siwa. Thought you were better. Oh, great. What are we going to have here? I never. Doesn't matter. I have found fame. At what cost? You gave up your home, your name, your gods. You chose this path. And it has brought me all the coin and can't I want. Oh, wow. Now, you always wanted glory. It is not what drives all of us. And all you wanted was Aya and little Bayax. What made you abandon your dream? Enough. Oh, shit, we're gonna fight? Like I said, the combat isn't the greatest. Wasn't even... Hitting him. Combat's not great, folks. Probably the worst part of the game. Apart from the course, though, Witcher 3 was that way, too. Everything was great. Everything that was great about Witcher 3 was not the combat. You were alive. <laughs> Hit his head. You are old. Time for me to dunk my head. Uh, the beer hits harder than you. <laughs> what in Dionysus' name were you talking to Nikias about last night? Nikias? Who? Don't bullshit me. I saw you. 
What? You think his father will just welcome you onto the Prasina Green team? You really think you could roll onto the track and win races with no training, no skill? Piss on you! Maybe I should seek this Nikias out and hear his offer. If you can win Claridas, <laughs> it can't be that hard. You These two are friends, right? First. You'll need all the help you can get to survive the Hippodrome. The gods will watch us race and decide. You have your gods, I have mine. We'll see who rides out covered in glory. All right, there's that quest. Said, let the gods judge you in the Hippodrome. All right, what's this? Wasn't there a question or an exclamation point here just a second ago? Yeah, there it is. Where'd it go? There we are. Oh, what the hell happened here? My life. Nebet, what grief has swallowed you? We, we Nebet. came to pay our respects to Icarus, to make an offering for him, to ride victoriously in the next life. But, but. Shh. Gently now. I'm listening. Blue ruffians came at us. They jeered at our sorrow. And when my Kalyu spat in their faces, they struck him down. They killed him. Then stole a bust of Icarus and ran. Now, See? Fucking my sports, man. Son Icarus People die over him. He's gone off towards the shore, chasing after those blue demons. I fear. He'll join his brother. Wasn't there two he people laying there dead when I walked up? And now my family is destroyed. Please, Medjai. Medjai. See, Medjai. That's what Bayek's title is. End today. Go back to your home. Try to rest. I will find him and bring him back to you. Yeah, see, look, there's two people here. Alright, we're going to do this quest too while we're here. See, this one doesn't really exist, apparently. That's funny. Glitchy game. Alright, so... Where is that quest? Did I not track it? I thought I told it said to track it, but okay. There it is. The world in this game feels an appropriate an appropriate level of alive. Like there's not too many people. It's not but it's not packed with people. It's not like walking around uh the cities of San Andreas in Grand Theft Auto. Also, your actions are a little more measured than they are in the GTA games, but... These chariots everywhere... Alright. Question mark out there in the water. There we are. Excuse me, chickens. You can do this, which is always nice. The, hey, come here, whistle. That exists in so many. Aw, oh, man, I should've... Should've made him berserk. We'll save that, though. We'll try it again. <laughs> Something is close. I swear it. Mm. 
Yep. Now you're gonna sick and die. What the? Did you get sick? Why did you not get sick? You're supposed to get sick. Oh, there you go. Guy died. your puke, buddy. Oh man, his face is all rotten looking. That's gross. That's a vicious, vicious bit of poison I hit him with. Oh, and then they, they are poisoned afterwards too. That's awesome. Quiet. I'm here to get you back to your mother. Oh, I love having the wrist blade back. I missed it. And because I'm an asshole, you, you go in the water. No, you go out in the water. You get to be food for crocodiles. There you go. There you go. Time to go home. Wait, Medzai. This sagging cock stole a bust of Icarus that my mother had prepared for the great Sariotir's memorial. They threw it in the river to defile it and bring a curse upon the Brasilia. Ah, Greenways. now I gotta go swim and get it. We need it. Let me get you to your mother first. No. You must retrieve it before it is lost for good, or else my mother will never recover from her despair. I can make it home, but I am too weak to find the bust. Please, find the bust of my namesake and bring it back to my mother. As I must. They make some weird stylistic choices in this game where they speak to you in English when you uh, are in conversations like this, but then when you uh, when you um, are running around the world, you hear people speak foreign tongues, you know, ancient tongues. All right, good job, bird. My living drone. Big ass lily pads. Underwater is pretty in this game. The fish. He's got a long ability to hold his breath, too. Oh, almost into a boat. You ignite their passions, Icarus. I'll get you where you belong. <laughs> Ship being built. Hello, was praxis a low one. Said, very much an Assassin's Creed game. Like you're nimble as fuck, but it's also very easy to run the wrong way. Welcome. This was talking about earlier with the upgrades. I can upgrade it. Ah hell, yeah, let's do it. I like this sword a lot. Then I can also sell stuff. Uh, so I want to sell that. Oh, wrong button. Yes, all right. Uh, I'll sell that. Could use that. So I'll sell this mace too already. Right. Let me keep bone crackers. I like the way it looks. Yes, all right. Let's try to keep one of each Could weapon, I guess. All right, off we go. I really do enjoy this game, though. I, I, 
I'm, I'm very tempted to start streaming it tonight from the very beginning, and then when I take it back, I'll have, uh, you know, when I take it back in a, uh, tomorrow morning, or tomorrow night, rather, before work, I'll have, uh, I will have it, you know, a, a good deal into it again. Maybe be back at this point for the, the live streaming, but I, re I really quite like this. Um, never been a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed games of late. I can't say never. Of late, I have not been a fan of them. I didn't play Black Flag. I didn't play uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue. I didn't play more than the opening hour or so of Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, I didn't play Revelations. I did not play Syndicate or Unity. So I, it's, I've stayed a, away from these games for a long time, and I really quite like this game, even though it's not perfect. There we go. Metai, you saved my son. A thousand thanks and more I owe you. The bust of Icarus. Now Prasina has a chance in the upcoming games. You are truly a blessing sent from the gods. We will make an offering to Icarus and the Prasina Green in your name. There is no need for that. But if you must, make the offering for my son. I would have loved to have shown him the spectacle of the Hippodrome. We will. Come, mother. We have to prepare to deal with my brother's funeral. Yes, of course. At least he's glad that the bust of Icarus was restored. All right. Now a story mission. I promised a main quest, so let's look at a main quest here. See, see, she wants me to assassinate these two. And this is one of the things that's weird about this game is, is I took out this target early in the game. These other three, I have not, I did not, but uh, I know she took out at least two of them. I, I did. And so at least this was just one target left. So what comes after this? Like, is there going to be more that comes around here or what? I don't, I don't know. So let's do... Let's do this guy. Where's he at on the map? Oh, we're not all that far away from him, are we? So on our way there, let's bust the statue up. Because that's the thing we do in this game. Call my... Call my mount. Trusty Camel. Uh, my daughter's asked me if I named him yet, and I said, nope, he's just Camel to me. I don't, I don't feel the need to name my camel. Whoa. All right, it's gonna be a fight here, so let's take out the middle guy. There we go. Ones, thank you. <laughs> Who's shooting? Those guys out there? Go get them. Go get the guys that are shooting at you, man. Meanwhile, I'm going to take the statue down. Is he attacking me now? Oh, okay, so I guess the berserk thing doesn't last long. There we go. So the berserk was kind of pointless. It didn't really do what I wanted it to do. But I took it on the statue. Come here, camel. Let's go. Go to objective. Here we go. As I said, though, I really quite like this game. I, I did not expect to like it this much at all. I figured I was going to rent it to, uh, Saturday morning when I did and play it while the kids played Overwatch and, you know, just be a thing to, uh, you know, a thing to pass the time. But it 
literally became a thing that I, I could not stop thinking about. Much like Wolfenstein 2 last week. Uh, th this, Wolfenstein 2 and Super Mario Odyssey all came out the same day. This is the one that I expected to not like at all. And, I mean, I can't play Super Mario Odyssey. I don't have a Switch, but I wasn't surprised by how much I liked Wolfenstein. I, I am utterly shocked by how much I like this game. From the, you know, the graphics being generally gorgeous. You know, yeah, the, uh, you know, some silly glitches here and there, but the graphics are generally gorgeous. And the gameplay is fucking fun as hell. Alright, let's see. We got people transporting money. What happened? What the fuck happened? The game break? While I was praising it for being awesome? Oh, why do we get level 20 guys attacking me? Why am I in here? Why did I fast forward into here? What the fuck happened? I am so confused. Let's get out of here. Run away. Never seen it do that before. That was fucking weird. I just went from searching for my target to in the middle of the damn fort. What the fuck, game? Alright, so we're gonna end on a really weird note. <laughs> game I was just praising just fucking broke on me. Yeah, I was right there. Like, what the hell happened? Cool, the brazier was lit, so now we've got reinforcements in here, too. Fantastic. Man, look at all those guards. Game does weird things sometimes. There he is. Got some high level guys. So I'll have to avoid them. I don't know how I got in the middle of the fort like that. That was a weird, very specific bug game. Yeah, see, he's only level 11. Alright, let's see if I can make it along the wall without getting spotted. That was weird. I've played damn near 20 hours of this game, and I've never seen it do that before. I must be careful now. Well, we're gonna start assassinating everybody, so... I gotta watch out for those guys down there at the bottom. They're gonna fuck me up.
I can't even assassinate those guys. They're, they're too good. Oh no, they're coming this way. Watch each other's backs. No getting jumped. Work with me. Could do with a bit of food, though. Don't come up, don't come up, don't come up. Keep walking. Very good. Can't even look an actor in the face. This is gonna be an intense end of this uh playtest here. Alarm! Over here! Could do with a bit of food though. You guys just stay away. Anyone have any food? Water? Anything? Stay down there. Don't 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 come up and visit. Can't even look an actor in the face. Where's my target at? He's all the way you fuck over there. Food, Why is he leaving? Anyone have any food? Water? Anything? Outside the fort now. Why is he outside the fort? Clear the way. Oh shit. Alright. Let's see if we can't assassinate him. Resume normal duties, man. I'm off to search the docks for the murderers. Find this woman! She has murdered a friend of the royal court. Hey, you! Stop! Okay. I will Got him. There we go. That's another way to do it. Drag me into the land of the dead. You sought to kill my wife. Your whore of a wife is a murderess. Wafely and wanton one. I did my duty as a Philagetai, and for this you have taken my life. Is your vengeance above all law, Medjai? Be warned. The Philakes will hunt you down and exact revenge. May the hidden one. Walk beside you. The feather thing. We're getting some more Lord, Assassin's Creed stuff. Awaits. That was a weird transition there. Be curious to see if I'm still in battle when we come out of the cutscene area. Too. Covered in blood. Good lord. So now I got bounty hunters chasing me, huh? Well, let's get out of here. <laughs> the 
this is very familiar for people that have played Assassin's Creed games. Run across the rooftops. Alright, where am I going now? What's my quest? Got the t snake to go after. Hey, you get an outfit for killing him. We got in the gear section. Oh, I got new melee weapons, huh? A lower level bone cracker. Man, the storm's really picking up. Outside. Here in the real world. What's the tool? Oh, sleep darts. I forgot about the sleep darts. Increase my arrow capacity. There we go. Alright, we're good. Stand on the chimney. So, I think that's going to wrap up my look here at uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. This game gets a a sterling freaking recommendation from me. I am not a fan of the series, haven't been for several years, and I quite love this game. I love the setting. I begrudgingly accept the combat. I'm not a fan of the way the combat works. It could be way better. I wish it was more like the Batman or Shadow of War style combat where you, you know, you have all, all the necessary abilities you have or you need from the start. Sorry, he got hung up there. Um, but even without that as a standard part of the game, I think the game is a, a wonderful thing. Um, I have no idea what I would rate it because I haven't played it all the way through yet, but it definitely gets a recommendation for me as a game I think most people should play. If you've got one of these uh, current-gen consoles, or even better, one of the higher-end ones, one of the... You know, the uh, the PS4 Pro or the um, Xbox One X, definitely, definitely you should check it out. That's that, This game's freaking gorgeous. Oh, can I climb? How am I climbing that? There doesn't look any handholds on that whatsoever. Stand on a naked lady. Alright, that's where we're going to end things. Perched on a naked woman's hand. <laughs> Thank you for checking out this extra long edition of Polynomial Playtest. This has been Assassin's Creed Origins. It's a game I think you should play. Um, if you can find it on Redbox or much later on on sale, if you're not into these sort of things, check it out then. But if uh, you're at all a fan of this franchise, uh, oh shit. If you're a fan of this franchise at all, I highly suggest you take a look at this game. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. Everything Polynerdic from polynerdic.com to at Polynerdic on Twitter, Polynerdic on Facebook, all the above. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you next time here on the Polynerdic channels. And I might even come back later tonight and start this game anew and do a little live streaming of this. I haven't decided just yet. But right now I'm going to sit back and enjoy the storm that's raging outside. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.